Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Now, in my hands, as you can see, I have a 1959 Fender Esquire. Just look at this, this is absolutely incredible. Sparkling clean. I almost thought it wasn't the real deal because it really is that clean, but it truly is. It's all 100% original. It is 62 years old, uh, outrageous. Uh, and yes, it does include the original hang tag and these beautiful, fantastic Fender catalogs of the era. Now, look at this. The person who ends up with this is going to be very, very lucky. Speaking of luck, uh, we here at the shop, we were very lucky enough to have had this delivered to us by the son of the original owner. And of course, it's always such an honor to have people entrust us and sell their family heirlooms. Now, the seller didn't actually play the guitar and wanted it to go to someone who actually would get some use out of it, which is great. Uh, so before we put it out there for self and find its new home, uh, we thought we'd put it through its paces and show kind of what it looks and sounds like. And it is incredible. <laughs> After you watch this video, you should go and watch the video that I did previously with a 56 Esquire in April of last year in my beautiful living room uh, while we were all still quarantined and working from home, uh, where I really delve into the history of the model. So we'll put the link right down below next to the like and subscribe button, which I'm sure you've done already. Now Esquires, as you all know, are the original commercially successful solid body electric guitar. Uh, the first iteration of this iconic model appeared in autumn of 1949, and the rest, as they say, is history. So just a few notable players of this historic instrument, and there's, there's quite a lot, but just to name a few, we got the boss, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, we got Jeff Beck, uh, obviously famous from using it in his Yardbirds era. Uh, Sid Barrett, Joe Strummer, we got Steve Cropper, of course, used on uh, the great famous uh, Green Onions, and of course, one of my favorites, Jimmy Bryan. <laughs> So let's talk about the electronics. Uh, now, although these Esquires do have an empty neck pickup route under the pickguard, yeah, that's right, there is actually a route for the neck pickup under there somewhere, uh, they only have the bridge pickup. And to make things even more confusing, they still have a three position switch and two knobs, even though there's only one pickup. Uh, I remember when I first played one of these, it confused the hell out of me. 
Now, the clever folks at Fender wanted to make this guitar as versatile as possible, uh, despite it only having one pickup. So what they did is that the bottom position is the pickup wire directly to the output jack, bypassing the volume and tone completely, uh, which puts out this pure, unaltered, bright and beautiful bridge position uh, Fender tone. <laughs> The middle position includes the volume and tone pots in the circuit uh, for more control over those elements. And the top position is the pickup running through capacitors, which darken the sound, making it feel very bassy in a very significant way. It sounds like someone's playing next door, to be quite honest. Honor to play this again. It is. It's hard to believe how clean this guitar actually is. The Fender tag and the catalogs that come with it. I mean, it's, it's like it's brand new. A gorgeous guitar, and it's obviously going to get played a little bit more, which is great. Um, Esquires are, are a lot of fun. Again, I don't really use that position. You know, I don't want to sound like I'm listening to someone next door. Oh, he's loud, isn't he? That position, great. Obviously, the the, the bridge is. I absolutely love that. But yeah, a great guitar that I would urge anyone to come in and check out. It is phenomenal. Oh